The first question you always raise is, where do you need it for? And do you really need it, or is it just a, go a, a toy or a gimmick? So we had a quite intensive discussion, but finally he was able to convince me that it really makes sense to use this device because it's a very small one, it's very handy, and most important, it's non-invasive, so it can be used easily on, on people in extreme environments like weightlessness. And we flew it now as a cooperation between a German scientific, uh, scientific group and an Estonian scientific group, and we're very happy about this collaboration, and I'm very happy also to see that the experiment is working so well. If you look around in this airplane, you will find very difficult experiments with a lot of electrodes all over, and perhaps they have nice results, but they're just difficult to yeah they're, they're difficult to to to, applique, uh, to to apply them in in the extreme environments like the ISS. So the astronauts really like small, handy devices that do not take much time to use. And this is why ESA is so keen and so interested in this approach and to qualify this instrument that would eventually be used on board the International Space Station. And who knows, maybe also in the future, whenever we would decide to go back to the Moon or for even longer trip, uh, go to Mars.